Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, Ty here and in today's video I will be talking about smoke and CO2 sensor or detectors. Recently my smoke slash CO2 detector started to make this chirping sound and uh, this chirping sound is quite annoying. Even at night my wife has, has literally kicked me out of the bed to go and disable or mute this smoke detectors because it is very annoying and to make matters worse i have three of them in my house and it's kind of spread across the different levels and with that chirping sound it makes it difficult to figure out which of them is the one that's making that noise you just have to keep pushing the reset button and most of the time this requires getting like a long broom to be able to reach for that tiny button or having to pull out my ladder to reach for it which at the middle of the night it's not exactly fun to go and get a ladder and start trying to reach for it on most of the smoke detectors there's usually instructions around it telling you what the chirping sound is like my smoke detector is one from Kido. i've made my way through each of them starting with replacing the batteries on my smoke detector it does say that this thing should only should last 10 years so basically i have till 2025 and it's only 2022 and they're done so i'm kind of left with two options now either just completely disable the co2 slash uh, smoke sensor or detector or replace it option one is pretty much out of the table because of uh, there are a couple of reasons why in canada in the city i stay as part of the building code you're required to have smoke detectors in the house that's actually active and functional and also it could save your life because in the event of a fire the smoke detector starts serves as the first you know it alerts you to a smoke or fire potential fire so you can if you're sleeping or you know if you're not aware of it it will alert everybody and you can quickly react and get out of the house before it burns because literally it takes it can take less than five minutes for a house to go from a smoke to completely burnt down as far some studies have seen online Another thing is the CO2 component of the smoke detector. CO2 carbon monoxide, so basically that gas that gets emitted from the exhaust of your car. Now that thing, if you've seen movies where people actually just lock the garage door and then put a hose from the exhaust and into the car and try to kill themselves, yeah, you can see it. It's very easy to die from CO2. You wouldn't even know it's there. And you just realize that you go to bed and you don't wake up again. So that's a very dangerous gas. So that's why it's very important to have this sensors around the house now from my house as at the time my house was built the building code only required the co2 sensor to be on each floor but newer houses now it is required to be in every single room in the house which brings me down to replacing the smoke detectors there are two options i could either go and get another keto um, dumb smoke detector or this could be an opportunity for me to get or an excuse for me to get a smart smoke detector on looking at the market and faced with the sad reality there's just one big one on the market right now and that is the nest protect for those of you that know i've been following my videos you know that i'm kind of uh staying away from google slash nest products because of uh first i feel that their quality control is really bad the software and hardware is trash and um they're not really customer centric and i've uh, had issues with all of their products so i'm trying to stay away from their products as much as i can right now but in this case i really cannot avoid it because it is the only smart option right there so i'm going to give it a try and i've had it for 30 days now and um yeah i'm going to talk about my experience with the nest protect smoke slash co2 center starting with the price now this thing starts out at 149 canadian dollar and um, you can either get it in the battery or the non-battery option with the battery backup so basically what that means is that the battery option runs purely on the battery you know when houses that were built a long time ago that didn't have pre-exist that didn't get wired up for smoke detectors got equipped with the battery option but newer houses will always come with the wired option so you should always go with the wired option with the battery backup if your house does permit so never go for the battery option to replace a 
wired option. First of all, it connects to all, you know, it's, you're able to connect to all the other smoke detectors so they can kind of talk to each other. The battery option should only be used for backup. So when there's power outages, then the battery will kick in. But I did pick my own up from Costco because we can pick up a two pack of the smoke detectors for about 284 Canadian dollars. So to me, that was a better deal than picking up from the Google store. Installation was, was very easy, actually. I literally can install it with my eyes closed. Few wires to deal with, right? Positive, negative, neutral, you know, use the provided accessories in there. They're murettes or wire, wire not. So use it to twist each of the, wi the corresponding wires, right? If you do not feel comfortable doing it, make sure you get an electrician to get this done for you. But I think for the most part, most people should be able to get this installed themselves, especially if you're replacing an existing smoke detector. The manual provided by Google gives you a lot of information and also Google adds the installation guide on their website as well. Moving on to the features of the smoke detectors. Now there's some pretty amazing features about the smoke detectors and not so amazing features about it. Starting out with the fact that this thing actually comes with the smart ability, obviously, because it's a smart Nest Protect smoke detector. If your Wi-Fi is only enabled for five, unfortunately, you will not be able to connect this to your Wi-Fi you do have to enable 2.4. So moving on to the other thing I love about it is the fact that this thing actually has the app as well. So you can connect it using the Nest app and uh, you pair it up to your phone and then it does all of its thing and setup was pretty much seamless and straightforward. Some really, really exciting things about this thing is the fact that how it handles um, smoke detection. Now the other day my wife was cooking, I mean, as usual, she, when she cooks a lot of the time, the smoke detector goes off because she does a lot of cooking that you know generates a lot of steam and all that kind of stuff so it tends to trigger the smoke detector a lot of the time so we always have like a, a towel next standby to quickly you know you know blow the thing off but with this one it starts out with uh it starts with the voice alert <laughs> And it tells you where because when you're setting up the smoke detector you have to tell it which room you're setting up that corresponding smoke detector so when it goes out it tells you where it is detecting that smoke from so you don't have to keep you know running through all of them to figure out where it's coming from it then sends out an alert to all of the connected devices so the phones ipads you know everything and then you're able to get alerted to that medium and you can actually go ahead and disable it using the phone if you realize that it's just a false alarm or if you prefer the old traditional method, you can actually go and push the physical button that's also on this Nest Protect to disable that chirping sound that is very annoying. Another thing that is really crucial and very important and I really do like about this Nest Protect is the, the self-test feature. Now, for every CO2 slash smoke detector you have in your house, you actually have to do a weekly test on them. At least as per the Keto brand, you have to do it weekly you have to actually go up there, push the test button, let it do its thing. And you have to do this weekly to make sure that this thing is fully functional. But with the Nest Protect, it actually does a self test itself. So you set up a schedule on the app and then the thing does the test itself. And you can actually go into the app and look at the, you know, the test logs, the battery backup. Like I said, I got the wired with the battery backup option. So you can actually look at the battery status as well. So unlike the you know the dumb smoke detectors where it just keeps you have to keep counting all of the chirping sound and the, you know doing the timing in between to see what the problem could be the fact that this smoke detector can actually tell you what it needs and what it doesn't need you don't have to deal with the situation of a baby right when the baby is crying you don't know why they are crying and you're like trying everything to figure out what or what's causing the baby to cry this smoke detector solves that problem open up the app and it tells you what the problem is well this smoke detector excels at a lot of things there are major downsides to it as well the fact that it uses the nest app is the biggest turn off for me now the nest app i've been trying to get away from the nest app so any product that uses just the nest app i tend i typically don't buy them because i think google should have phased out the nest app by now and moved all of the products to the home app so Keeping the Nest app around just means that now I have to have multiple apps in place and I have to figure out integrations between all of them, which is a pain in the butt. And uh, yeah, the Nest 
doesn't quite integrate nicely with anything else i mean even my nest doorbell that's still on the net the only device on the nest app besides my smoke detector now it's been years of me struggling and trying to get it to integrate with my home assistant platform to do other automation around my house which is frustrating using the nest app it forces you into a subscription model i'm getting a smart home so that i can reduce my cost increase safety increase privacy i don't want to pay subscription fees i want to buy it and be done with it for most houses especially with the new building code you're going to be having at least four to five depending on the number of rooms you have so say even a two-bedroom house you have your two bedrooms your living room your basement or whatever right you've been needing at least two to three of them at $150 each so that puts you at at least $450 in terms of uh, smoke detector alone and it only has a limited lifespan of 10 years just like the keto dumb smoke detectors 10 years and it's no good you have to replace all of them again so I can't really resell it or use it beyond that 10 years even if I didn't want to replace the product I have to replace it because of the safety side I think overall with my experience of the of the nest um, nest protect and um, i think my biggest uh my biggest beef with google and the nest product line is one of the biggest turn off for me and uh coupled with the price point and the subscription model and the lack of integration components between the nest platform and any other platform and even within it doesn't work nicely even within the google assistant platform itself all of this if i'm going to spend that much money on a product especially if i have to replace a lot of them i like to see something that has a very long lifeline as well as integration with something else right i don't want something that ties me to just them which is what the nest protect is doing right now i'm limited to just that and if you want to get some advanced features you only have to use you have to pay for the subscription the nest protect subscription and uh yeah i'm anti-subscription plan and yeah, it pretty much feels it for me. So based on all of this and right now my current issues with Google, I am going to be not keeping this product. I'm gonna go and buy the dumb keto brand for now. And um, when there are other options on the market, I'm hoping some other manufacturers can come out with other options out there. So I'm just gonna keep waiting. Thank you so much for joining me today on this video. Have you actually used the Nest Protect? Do you like it? Do you have uh, good experience with it do you have bad experience with it let us all know down in the comment section you know this would be very helpful for those that are actually considering buying this product as well right even though i'm a little bit prejudiced against the google nest product there's some other people that would really love to actually get this product so leave your comment down in the comment section this could be really helpful to all of us i mean i could also learn from those of you that have had it for much longer as well i'd love to see your experience too thank you so much for joining me today and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.